what privilege do I have that you don't have that is based on skin color, not on wealth or socioeconomic status? Please. The fact that you are sitting here with like little to no education trying to talk to people about white privilege is white privilege. Tell me one thing I said that's wrong and don't use an argument from authority. Make a good argument. I have a degree. I'm arguing from authority I have a degree. I'm telling you my life experience. That's not your life experience. That's a degree. Really? I'm sorry. Did you live my life? That means nothing. Did you live my life? That means that's a degree. You're not smarter than him because you have a degree. Just so you know that. That's a fallacy. That's a fallacy. Name one thing that you can't do that I can do. That's a fallacy. That's a fallacy. Name one thing that you can't do that I can do. Um, I don't know. I can't make a whole fucking dollar. What? You can't? What? Why? Oh my god. You're, you're trying to tell me in the military women aren't paid the same as men for equal work? Um, in the military, up until two years ago, women weren't even allowed to do most of the jobs that Answer men Answer the question. Do. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back going to a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Charlie Kirk shuts down four arrogant female college students, okay? This is going to be amazing. I would love to check this video out to you guys. Uh, let's get right to it. I'm going to Charlie kick because of kicking us. Let's check this video out together. Poof. Hi, y'all. So before I ask my question, I want to clarify a point that y'all mentioned earlier. You said you don't believe in white privilege, correct? Yeah, it's, it's a myth. It doesn't exist. Okay. So according to the Bureau of Prison Statistics um, from last month, 38.3% of our current inmate population is black. But according to the 2020 census data, only 122 of our national population is black. So if you don't believe in white privilege, how do you explain this disparity? So why are they in jail? It has been this way for years, um, since the 90s. No, no, since wh wh why, do, why do people go to jail? Why are black people in jail at higher rates than white people? That's the question, right? Maybe because yes. they commit more crimes than white people. But that's not true. <laughs> There's a point, Steve. They do. So it, every independent analysis shows that blacks have committed a disproportionate amount of crime. No one wants to say it out loud, but it's true. In fact, in New York, 52% of murders are committed by blacks, 40 plus percent of arson, 60 plus percent of drug deals. And so the question you should really be asking is what drives them to commit crimes? That's the question, right? The real question is, and maybe I can ask you, what percentage of blacks are raised with two parents in the home? So actually, according to the Uniform Crime Report for 2019, black or African-American individuals committed only about one million crimes, while white people committed about four million yeah, crimes. So, yeah, but, but yeah, that's but proportion. On. Yeah, how proportion. about the proportion? There's a lot more white people than black people in 60, the United it's States. It's a 60% white country and a 14% black country. So you just proved my point. <laughs> You literally, so, so basically, that's a disproportionate <laughs> amount of crime. It is. I, I, but listen, I want to say, look, you are coming up here and you're asking a question, and that's not easy to do, first and foremost, no matter what. And I really appreciate your question in front of all of these people. It's hard. So thank you for asking your question. But let me point out what you, what you just did, and you didn't know that you did it. You switched from proportion to raw numbers. That's right. And you did that to make a point that you thought you were making, but you weren't. But look, your issue was that black Americans only make up 13% of the population, and yet they make up, I think you said, like 38% of the prison population. And then you, yes, you switched yeah, to raw numbers because, so black people only make up 13% of the population, but they commit 40% of all homicides and 60% of all violent crime. Unfortunately, I don't think that's anything inherent in black Americans. That's not what I'm saying. That's just the fact. And what Charlie is saying is, look, we've got to look at why that huh. is. So you're claiming that that disparity is inherent proof of discrimination. So would you also say the fact that there are fewer Asians in jail means that than white people, that there is discrimination against white people? No. She has a point, Stay. Disparity isn't proof of discrimination is what I'm so, trying to say. Yeah. So let me just throw, and Ellie's exactly right. What percentage of blacks grow up with two parents in the home? Yeah, I less than 20 percent. That's why there's so many blacks committing crimes and they're in jail. It's that simple. The death of the black family is why blacks are in jail higher than their population percentage. It's that simple. May I see your criminology degree? Do you have uh, one? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. No, wait. We've got a, we've got a, are you we, a we biologist? From an Brown Jackson. So, but no, but let, me, let, let me ask you a question. So, um, so do I need a criminology degree to be able to understand that 75% of blacks don't grow up with two parents? To be well-versed well in it, I believe so. Do, okay. you do you have one? 
I don't, but I'm studying it. Okay, right but now. you oh, she exactly. studied it. Mm-hmm. But you did the same thing. Okay. You looked at a statistic, and he did the same thing. You Look, don't have a criminology have degree, you taken neither a criminology does he. Course? Have y'all Hold taken on a second. That? You're doing an argument from authority, okay? It's a fallacy. So mm-hmm. the laws of physics don't change whether or not you're a physicist. True. Okay, the law of thermodynamics doesn't change whether or not you take a course on it. Answer the question Why do blacks have a broken family versus a nuclear family, and does that translate to higher rates of crime? Do you admit that? Why is it that blacks don't have parents, though? Why? Good question. We subsidize single motherhood in Mm. this country to the federal government of the United States. Great question. Now we're getting somewhere. Back in the 1960s, we put forward a program where black women married the government and broke up with the men they were with. Welfare state, Lyndon Baines Johnson, and that has contributed to blacks committing more crimes. I believe institutionalized racism is your answer, but I don't believe I'm getting anywhere oh, but, with y'all. Look, so. But no, just, just let me say, just let me point something out. Did you know that it's not white Americans that have the lowest incarceration rate or the lowest rates of crime or the highest graduation rates or the highest median income? It's not white Americans. It's Asian Americans. They have the highest median income. They have the highest graduation True. rates. They have the most degrees. They have the lowest incarceration rates. And guess what? They also have the lowest single parenthood rates. Okay? So that is true across the board. It's not just black Americans. And unless you're willing to say that the reason why Asian Americans make more than white Americans or the reason why Asian Americans go to jail less than white Americans is because there is systemic institutional racism against white people in this country, then your argument against black people doesn't really work. So let me ask you one thing. You said institutional racism. I got a black friend right up here. He's great. What, What can... He's great. So let me ask you. Let me, let me ask you a question. What can I do that he can't do? It's not so. What do you mean? If, if, if institutional racism was real, what can I do that he can't do? Well, you're less likely to get arrested. Yeah. I'm sorry. For, no, if we less- both commit a crime, he's going to get arrested and I'm not? He could. What, wait, so we just went through this. Saying- Blacks commit a disproportionate amount of crime, uh, crime in this country because of broken families. So give me one law on the books. You said it's institutional. Families. Give me a law anywhere that discriminates against blacks. Give me one law anywhere in America. You want current or past? How about right now? Well, the fact that crack cocaine is criminalized more than regular cocaine. No, no. If I, if, I, if, I deal, if I deal crack cocaine, I'm getting arrested regardless of skin color. Give me a, give me a law. But if you white cocaine, you would... You're Give me a law anywhere a that allows white people to, to commit crimes and get away with it and blacks can't. Does that law exist? Not anymore. But because there's no institutional real. racism in America. The no idea of institutional no. racism is laws on the books. Just because it's not down on paper doesn't mean it's not real. Okay, give us an example. Not just God. a disparity. Not just a God? disparity. God isn't, you don't see God. He's on paper. Read the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I'm getting nowhere with y'all, and y'all are not answering my questions, so I'm going to end this Q&A right here. Thank you for your time. Okay. We actually did answer her questions, but I do appreciate, I really, even though she's got an attitude, um, she, I, I do appreciate her courage. I do. That, that is difficult. That's difficult yeah, to come I mean, up here and ask a but question, I, see, but you can also do it respectfully. But what bothered me about her, I'm glad she was there. She wasn't being honest. At least be honest, okay, and be willing to be correct. Go ahead. All right, so I'll start off with my credentials since apparently they matter. Oh, they definitely don't matter I'm an eight-year military veteran. I'm a college student. Thank I'm you. a black woman. Mm. And I believe that white privilege fucking exists. Wow. So we're going to start with that. Okay. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. And the reason why white privilege exists is because you guys refuse to acknowledge the history that put people in this position. You want to tell me that white privilege doesn't exist when white people had a fucking upper hand for 250 years to develop generational wealth and that black people didn't get the right to fucking vote until the 60s? And you're going to tell me that white privilege doesn't exist? So, that sounds like so it first exists of all, because you guys black, got the yeah, upper hand. What, what's say, funny yeah. about that is blacks are, are do, were doing better during Why that time. Why do we always under, call people under, blacks? No, because, well, because you, Cause cause you did. Can we just be black people? Can we just be like African Americans or something? Why are we the just black blacks? community? How would you like it said? How, what makes you feel better on the inside? Really, anything else other than what you're saying? What, what, tell, tell, I'll, I'll say how you want anything it. Else I'll tell you how you need it. Tell me how, what makes you feel better. Literally anything else other than what you're saying. Okay, anything else. Why is that anything else, right? In the Jim Crow era, blacks were doing better. 
economically we're outpacing whites under the Jim Crow era than we uh, were doing, than we are doing It probably has to do with the fact that we had our own communities before the fucking KKK came and burned them down. Why is she talking over her? Give me a second. So after $22 trillion of government handouts and a black president for After how many years of slavery and 44 white presidents? In the 44 white male presidents? Oh, I know. 97% white male Congress? So you're actually the reason why people like us can't do well because they sold you your, our oppression and you bought it. Blacks were doing better Barrett. under the Jim Crow If Pro you era. acknowledge the oppression of other people, we can heal from it. No, we but can't. But if you want no, to ignore can't. it, we, we won't can't. have anything happen. That's not how. That's not how this works. Dialogue and acknowledging things doesn't make us suddenly rich. So there's a it's a real I, there's a question I do want to ask, which I can't seem to get an answer. What can she not do in America that a white person can do? What opportunity? You served in the military. You've made good choices. You're getting rewarded for them. You're going to live in the American middle class. What privilege do I have, you don't have. that you don't have that is based on skin color, not on wealth or socioeconomic status? Please. The fact that you are sitting here with like little to no education trying to what? talk to people about white privilege is white privilege. There's <laughs> only one thing I said that's wrong, that's so and don't use that's an so argument elitist. from authority. So, that's like so Make a good I'm argument. I have a degree. Don't I'm arguing from authority because I'm telling you my life experience. That's not your life experience. Name that's a one, really, I'm sorry. Did you live thing. my life? That means nothing. Did you live my life? Name that means that's a degree. You're not smarter than him because you have a degree. Just so you know that. That's a fallacy. That I can do. That's a fallacy. Name one thing that you can't do that I can do. Um, I don't know. I can't make a whole fucking dollar. What? You can't? What? Why? Oh my god. You're, you're trying to tell me in the military women aren't paid the same as men for equal work? Um, in the military, up until two years ago, women weren't even allowed to do most of the jobs that Answer men Answer the do. question. You just said you couldn't make a dollar. You said she's, you could not make a, a dollar. You serve in the military. She's a liar. Not to mention that people she's a liar. in the military actually get paid a bullshit wage, but we're not going right, to talk about so that. Now we're moving yeah, let's talk that. about... That is no, 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 no. Let's talk about for a second that you want to say that what? everyone in the military what can that can't have paid a shitty wage. A feminist so that lie, makes it right? Radical feminist lie, and they also sell... There's so many different ways they sell you your oppression, and she has purchased all of them today. So right now, we are on sexism, right? So she's saying that I can't make a full dollar. Yes, you can. If women stop going in... I bet he got paid more to be here. Than I'm you did. speaking, okay? If women stop going into career fields like fashion and vogue and journalism, and, psychology. and we start going into fields like engineering, the, like engineering Business. and hard academics, Finance. we will make the exact same money that if men. Make. The the, the uh, wage gap is a myth it's and a, a myth. lie. It's a myth and a lie, okay? It's, it's actually a myth and lie. I understand that you need to be oppressed, but you are you have just heard from two black people that haven't purchased their oppression from the Democrat Party. Respect. Hmm. And, and, and what what frustrates me? is you served our country, which deserves to be applauded, and you have lived a life of a victor, and you have the gumption to tell me you're a victim without evidence. You were not able to cite one thing that you cannot do that I can do. If you make good choices, you will get those choices rewarded. True. And you brought zero evidence except an argument from an authority and an insult to my lack of a college degree of which I am so proud of because I'm not indoctrinated because I didn't go to college. Thank you very much for the next person. Candace, you have an amazing story. Uh, I'm Candace Owens' number one fan, by the way. I think, I think she's going to be instrumental in helping turn around the black community away from the Democrat Party. And what, how do you describe the Democrat Party? You say your personal journey away from I call it a plant I listen I 100% call it a plantation um, I think that it, and once upon a time they were enslaving our bodies today they have successfully enslaved our minds and mm. you see that because there's such vitriol and hate when we're just talking about different ideas there's no reason I haven't come up here and said anything that is going to negatively impact a black person in this room I never say anything that's going to negatively impact a white person in this room and yet you see that we have people over here that are shouting I haven't said anything yet what have I said that you're so my presence has offended you so much that to me is an example of ideological slavery you're afraid of it. That's it. You're afraid of different ideas. I said you're acting uneducated. Are you serious? You said you haven't said anything to offend anyone, but yet you repeated yourself over and over. That, oh, I'm sorry. You guys are so uneducated. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, that's what I was. What you just said to her proves my point. It's a lack well, of education. Well, let me say one thing. Just because you're offended doesn't mean you're right. Mm. Um. 
She was also very arrogant. Um, all right, I have 45 seconds to a minute if this is going to work out. Um, I want to say that you are hearing from people that are very frustrated. They are oppressed and they are very, very tired. You're hearing from people who are emotionally exhausted. And you are coming from a place of privilege. I don't expect you to have the same perception as they do, but you need to hear what they are saying. And from your language, you want to argue. And that is really unfortunate because these people care. And so what hurting. does your sign say, by the way? The alt-right threaten lives and kills. So it's somehow me that wants to argue She's and you say lives I threaten and lives and kills? <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, what was the question again? No, I mean, I'm asking, you're saying I'm the one that's here to argue and you're wearing a sign that says Charlie Kirk threatens lives and kills. And an I'm argument. the one provoking disagreement. It's not an argument, it's a statement. Also... No, you accuse me of wanting to argue with people. And I'm saying you're the one wearing a sign accusing me of threatening lives and I've killing. I've been sitting there this whole time listening to you. I have not been the one that has been calling out. I ask that you give me the opportunity to listen to me as I have listened to you. I asked you a question. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead. You got the floor. Thank you. I will say this. I will say that you use the name of God and God is not with you. And you are a false prophet. And to those that... <laughs> Your influence, you are an oppressor. Your influence was meant to be destroyed. And so, therefore, I ask everyone to fulfill their destiny and give them hell. Shit. Oh, I'm sorry. My only question is to ask you to leave. Wow. Um, that escalated quickly. Jeez. Woo. It went from, like, you're arguing with people to, like, full, like, Jeremiah 14, 11, like, I shall wrath upon thee that disagree with me it's like whoa so that happened quick holy moly guys this was a lot this was a lot from the first lady that talked about white privilege that there are a lot of black people in prison that first lady she was actually wrong like fully fully wrong because there's nothing right now that a black person can do or a white person can do that a black person can do we are all equal People say there's um, there's still white supremacy and uh, there's still white um, privilege, but for me, I, I I don't see any white privilege. I don't see any white privilege at all because there's nothing a white man can do currently. I know in the 18th centuries, in the 19th centuries too, there were some things that um, before it was abolished that white people can do that black can do. There were some restrictions, but those things are. I've all been stopped. Currently, there's nothing a white man can do that a black man can do. And the reason why, for me, for my own observation, for my own research, the reason why black people are in jail a lot is because of single parenting, single mother, that fathers are in jail. So single parenting, this itself is something that black families have to talk about. Black glorifies baby mamas. Like, if it's, a lot of black men does they don't want to marry. They don't want to get married. They just don't want to get married. Well, they want to have like five, six baby mamas. Even with our top artists, black artists that sing songs, you will just know. A lot of them have baby, baby mamas. Like some of them have like six. They just don't want to get married. They don't want to stay with one woman. You understand? And People keep, keep on coming to say that the black are being oppressed. The black are being oppressed. In the 18th centuries, they were black were being oppressed. Truth be told, by their body. But right now, black people are being enslaved by their own self, by their own mind, how they think. They are being enslaved. They are enslaving themselves with such mentality that there is nothing a white man can do that you yourself as a black man you can't do. There is no single thing like that. Guys, currently... <laughs> in the 20th centuries, I, don't, I, I have not seen anyone. I've not seen such arts. What a white man can do, a black man can do even more. To be sincere. The second lady who worked in the military, she was freaking lying. Freaking lying. That she can't make a single dollar. Like, she has that pain and anger and resentment for white people. She feel like she has been enslaved all her lives, all her life. She feel like she has been enslaved. And the funny thing is that slavery ends like 
in a long time ago, even before she was born. <laughs> that's just that's what fun is me. Like even before she was born, they have actually abolished slavery, and she saved the country. She she had that victory story. That she she saved the country as a military, and right now she she hold the mic and say she can make a fucking dollar. A single dollar. Like, that itself is very, 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 very silly and crazy, guys. It sounds very childish. And she's basically lying. Like, it's obvious she's lying. She's just lying. She just feel like white supremacy and white privilege exists. And she's been oppressed. But I don't know how she's been oppressed. I can't see how she's been oppressed. She's like the middle class of Americans. Like, the middle class. And she has the respect. Because to serve as a military is no joke. It takes a lot of God's courage and persistence to, to work as a, someone who works in the military. And she comes out here holding the mic and saying this. I was very surprised. Like I was not expecting that from her. I was literally not expecting that from her. And I love how Candice Owens handled her. Candice Owens was like, leave her for me. <laughs> I got this one. Candice Owens handled her thoroughly because that statement she made right there that she's being oppressed like it's it's silly and she can't make a dollar like it's it sounds very very naive and and crazy for me like that itself is someone who's been enslaved in his mind then the next one that kind of always said that some black people are acting uneducated they are just shocked by her presence they are just screaming her name and insulting her. She has not actually said anything yet. And they are just angry at her. Like black kind of like hate Candace always. Because she like saying the truth and calling the black people out and showing them the reason why the black are in the states they are in right now. And the funny part is that they just don't want to accept the truth. That's what's funny. The black don't want to accept the truth. Number one, the high rate of abortion in America have been done by black people. <laughs> black women. High rate of abortion. Number two. Parenting. Single parenting. It is really, really outrageous, guys. Black children. Black families. That have been, kids are being brought up by single mother. Their fathers are in jail or dead. Like, the, the rate at which is high is very, very massive. And right now, the rate of baby mamas is increasing, guys, in black families. It's really, really increasing. Asian, Asians, like, just watch it. Like, if they say there's um, white privilege, there's white supremacy over the black, then what happened to Asian Americans? What happened to Asians? Why, why are they different? Why is it that less Asians are in jail? Why is that Asians are the most successful in America? Like, Give me a reason why. Why is that Asians are not coming out like black people to complain that they are being oppressed? Tell me. Tell me why. Tell me if that... Just compare it. Like, see it. Tell me why Asians are not coming out to voice out the way black people are voicing now that they are being oppressed. Whenever it comes to black people, there's only something different about this group of set of people. I'm, I'm, I'm a black man. I mean, an African black man. And I don't deny who I am. But mentality tells who is acting enslaved and who is free. How black people, some black people think. Like it's it's very, very shocking how they act and how they, they voice out their statements as if they don't think about it before saying it out. Because this woman right here who is shouting and insulting Candace Owens right here that um, she called them uneducated. Candace always only said some of them act uneducated. They act it. Some of them they act uneducated as if they were not educated in the first place. They just act kind of like when you see them acting in a certain way, you feel like ah, this, are these people really educated? Because of how they voice out their opinion, how they use the foul words, the cuss words, the, the insults, and their, their statements is kind of like silly. Like the military woman who said she, she, she can't make a fucking... She, like the military woman who said she can't make a dollar. Like it's, it's shocking. How does she think about such a thing? Then the final woman who is right here, the, the woman who said Charlie kills and destroys lives. 
that God is not with Charlie. Who, who, how dare she come speak? Is she God herself? She's not God. Then how dare she come voice out her opinion that God is not with Charlie? Are you a pastor or are you a seer? Who, who are you to come say God is not with Charlie? And you are judging him and condemning him already because he's saying the truth. Like people have different opinions on how they see things. And they just like discriminating against Charlie Kirk every single time. They like bring it, like insulting him really, really bad. The way they insult Charlie, I'm over surprised. If I'm if I'm to be in Charlie's shoe, I'll be very pissed. But Charlie keep on coordinating himself and having that self-control and be like. I've seen such before. This is not new to me. How dare she tell Charlie that Charlie kills and destroys lives? And you have been there listening to him throughout. Because Charlie was on, at the college um, conference. We are, we are listening to him saying different things. Why then are you there? Why are you listening to him? People are very, very judgmental. That's something I noticed about um, a lot of Americans. They are very, very judgmental. And they take things too too hard. This was an amazing video. The entire four ladies were very arrogant, very hostile, and I was surprised by the actions, guys. It was very very surprising to me that they come, they came out here to come and read the Kuchali and talk bad at a man who <laughs> the only thing they did is to make American proud and make American great again. Like it's very very surprising how some ladies have that bitterness for Charlie. I, I'm, I'm really shocked. I'm really, really shocked. Comment down below, think about this video, give us a thumbs up, share this video to as many as you can, subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking, I don't know papers, pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch, in my bed. I got scales all